He is an icon in the uh, supplement areas, getting people healthy and pushing out all of the toxins and detoxing. And he, um, you heard him on Steve Harvey and a host of other places. And now he's here. He's back. He called me. He's like, Karen, I'm in town. I'm like, bring it on <laughs> in, brother. Bring it on in. The founder of D-Herbs, Mr. A.D. Dolphin. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. You look good. Thank you. You look uh, good. I, I'm all right. You know, but I'm, you know, the, the thing, we, we've been talking off and on for the last, it's been like four years. Right. And the the toughest thing, because, you know, I've I've eliminated a lot of things from my diet. No dairy. I had lunch today nice. with, with a buddy, and I'm like, uh, the thing that I wanted to order, they wanted to put yogurt on it. I'm like, no, nope, y'all don't need to put a dollop of yogurt on my salad. <laughs> Just nothing. It's right. good. All of that. Um, But I, I'm still carrying the weight. And you were saying, you know, with women in particular, so I need you to talk about that. Women of a certain age struggle with weight loss, and it's not our fault. So, you giving me you give me the Lizzie free Lizzo free pass. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's your hormonal system. So sometimes what happens is as you as you mature, you, you know, it, it's harder to lose weight because your hormonal system is off balance and it has to do with your previous diet and and things along those lines. So, you know, cleansing is important. Cleansing is important and giving your body that restart that it needs so you can naturally lose weight at a faster rate. All right. So tell me about this D-Herbs. Okay. So we got the D-Herbs Full Body Cleanse. It cleans out all your major eliminative channels. That's your gallbladder, your heart, your liver, your colon, your spleen, your lungs, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your blood, and your skin. Along with that, I'm sure you remember there's a diet that comes along with it. You You have to eat fresh fruits, vegetables, raw nuts, and raw seeds for 20 days. If you do that, in combination with taking those capsules, that's when the magic really, really happens. So let me pause you. Some would say, okay. we're on Wellness Wednesday, that the body is a self-cleaning unit. The liver is there to, as a function to filter. The kidneys do what they do. And when all of that works, the blood. And if you eat those nuts and berries and fresh fruits and vegetables, your body will naturally cleanse. I think that is a, a great question to raise. Um, you're right. It can. But we're talking about at an accelerated rate at tw- in t- within 20 days. So we're going to intensify it by taking those particular herbs that are good for those organs I just mentioned so your body can do it faster. That's why we have people losing weight between 10 and 30 pounds within 10 days. 30 pounds in 10 days, A.D. Dolphin? I've seen it all the time. You, so they had to be you, like 400 pounds? Nah, not at all. Not at all. Okay. So so what, what makes you an expert at this? Because you, you're just a guy that used to play some sports, right? You used yeah. To, yeah you're, you're a guy 15 fit. years. Okay. So what? How, did, how does one stumble upon this? You know what it is? Being a natural business person, this is an opportunity that came to me 15 years ago, and I did the cleanse. And I was addicted to soda at the time, and I had begun getting, gaining weight because I wasn't playing basketball and exercising like I should. And I did it, and it changed my life. And when the chain, you know how it is. So just like radio you is changed. You yeah. There you go. Become a crusader. <laughs> they, and and the same thing like radio took over your life, herbs and, and, and that aspect took over mine. And and I just became an expert in this particular field. And it is it's been a blessing. So you're cleansing right now? Right now. All right. What does that look like? When did you start? So I started about five days ago. Oh, is this like the top of the year? Why, why five days ago? That's like Black History. This is a Black History Month cleanse? What is this, AD? That's, that's what it worked out for me. So, you know, you do it when you can. So I uh, started five days ago, and I've been eating fresh fruits and vegetables for the last five days, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm loving it. Okay. All right. So what do you eat for breakfast? So when I eat for breakfast, I do a fruit smoothie. Okay. And then I snack throughout the day with, like, cashews, almonds, things along those lines. I have a salad, and sometimes I go to a, either a raw – in California, I can easily go to a raw food restaurant. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not in Jersey. Jersey, y'all got to get your life. I, I cannot find, like, even a great vegan place in Jersey. Oh, wow. And then there was Vital. Vital closed down. I'm like, I went by there the other day. I was like, wow. <laughs> What's going on? All right, eight six six eight zero one eight two five five is the number. If you got questions about D herbs, D herbs himself is here. A D Dolphin. All right, so you're day five of a twenty day cleanse. Right. What's the regimen like for the for this particular? This is the full body full body cleanse. The D herbs full body cleanse. What's the what's what's what do you have to do? How many pills? So therefore, you're gonna take it's um you're gonna take. Six, there are six bottles. You're taking a portion from each bottle every single day, and the last formula that you take throughout the day is uh, activated charcoal. 
All right. So I still have my bag of activated charcoal from the last time. <laughs> I have to confess. If I, so I, I was like, I'm not, I'm not feeling putting the charcoal in the water and drinking it. But you know what it is? If you overdose on anything, when you go to the hospital, that's what they're going to give you. They're going to give you activated charcoal because it helps pull the poison out of your stomach and then they're going to pump your stomach. So it's, it's something that's been used in the medical field for years upon years. And you have not had any adverse. You do the do. Do you do the? Absolutely, I do everything. Now, what 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 do you find happens to you when you do that? You feel cleaner. Okay. You remember it. So therefore, you know, a lot of us have been taking medication throughout our life. Some of us are currently on medication and trying to get a lot of that residue out of our system. And the activated charcoal is going to pull it out. Mm. Okay. All right. So I did. That's the one thing. So do you think that it hampered my impact? I don't. I think it it. There is a level, different levels. Okay. So I'm sure you still had a great cleanse, but, you know, that's just going to add that little topping on it. All right. All right. I'm going to go on there right now. So D-Herbs. Wait, are you ready to cleanse again? Yeah, I'm going to cleanse. I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, and, and it's the 5th of February, and there are 29 days in the month. So I'm going to start it. If I start on Monday, will that give me 20, into March? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. D-Herbs.com. Okay, is there a code? Yeah, what, there's a code it? for all your listeners. Okay, it's hold on. I'm going on there right now, and I'm going to do it right on the show. Oh, all no, right. no, no. We're going we gonna to send you a cleanse. Don't buy no cleanse. I'm buying a cleanse. <laughs> all right. I want to see if the code works, because that's a, that I also, you know, I got to test out. Okay. See if, so my people are going to get a discount? Absolutely. All right, I like that. What's the code? We're going to use my credit card. We're not going to have you use All right, we'll do that during the break. 866-801-8255. All right, somebody has a question. Uh, Big Daddy's calling. He's a trucker. He's a mother trucker out okay. there in Ohio. What's up, Andrew? How are you? Hey, what's all right, my queen? How you doing? I'm I'm, I'm queenly today. I'm sitting <laughs> on my throne and very happy. Okay, well, you know, I gotta I gotta all give right. you that. Yes. Okay, and I like to say hi to your guest. I can't think of his name. A. D. Dolphin. Hey. Okay, hey, Mr. Dolphin. Just want to let you know. Dolphin, like the dolphin in the ocean with the, the, the one that goes. <laughs> you know the the really flipper, smart flipper. the really smart flipper. is a mammal in the water it's not really a fish but go ahead go you go. okay i've done your cleanse i did it the first time you came on the Karen Hunter show when you talked about it okay um i was at 380 pounds then when i did it the first time i went from 380 down to 360 there you go 20 pounds 20 pounds in 20, 20 days that's not yeah. bad Yep. Then I did it again and again, and I'm I'm down to my last three days now. I'm just completing the twenty day again. I'm down to my last. This will be my last three days, and, and I am at a total weight now at three oh six. Man, I'm loving that. That's awesome. That's pretty dope. That's so awesome. So I just want to let everybody know that it does work. Uh, you do have to be disciplined because. You know, drinking plenty of water, eating yes. plenty of fruit. And I start off with a smoothie, too. But uh, I love it, love it, love it. And my wife just asked me today when I left, I got when I get back, I got to get her a 10-day cleanse. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, because you have awesome. different things. Because 20 days is intense for some people. It is for some people. So you have a whole different uh, array of cleanses that people can do if they just want to do their liver or something. They can do that if they're, have they're 20... constipated. They can. They got something. You got something for that. You we got have... something for the greens. Absolutely, we have twenty-seven different cleanses. Wow, how you come up with this, Ad? Well, I hire the best herbalist on the planet to help us put together the formulas, and we've been doing it for about fifteen years now. You have been doing it a while, and I've, I've been hearing about you for a while. So I'm glad we're. We're reconnected. Let me uh, head over to Robin. Robin in North Carolina. She has a question. Hey, Robin. Yes, good evening. Oh, he. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that's quite all right. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, I wanted to ask Mr. Dolphin, um, when I try to eat healthy, like I do the juicing or whatever, it tends to bloat my stomach. And, you know, it's, it's very uncomfortable. What can I do? How can I keep well, that from happening? A lot of times when people are bloating during that process is because of the fact that they're not used to eating that many vegetables and fruits and things like that. Was it mainly fruit you were doing or was it mainly vegetables? It, it goes. I've done both, actually. You've uh, done both. Juicer and a, uh, um, a juicer and a, and a blender. Are you I drinking enough water? You know, uh, 
maybe not. Okay. Because I think you're supposed to drink half your body weight in take, ounces. Yes. Basically, you much. take your body weight, divide it by two, and that tells you the number of ounces that you should drink a day. If you do that, it should definitely mm-hmm. help you. But also what you can do is just reach out to my office and let them know. And the number there is 866-434-3727. Reach out to them and tell them you're having an issue with that. And they will point out all the vegetables and fruit that can bloat you so they can point you in a different direction so you're not feeling that way. Okay, give me the number again, please. I'm sorry. Eight six six four three four thirty seven twenty seven, and just tell them your issue, and they'll be able to break it down for you. You know, it's interesting that you say that. Um, I, I, uh, you know, we do this Wellness Wednesday every Wednesday, and we've had just about everybody in the wellness space, from you know, uh, Dr. Ruby Lathan, Dr. Pam Popper, and I went out to her facility in Ohio, and we did this whole. She put me through this whole regimen, and she was like, "Well, you probably can't have because I was eating a lot of barley and stuff, right. thinking I was healthy." And it was the opposite. It was right. actually messing me up. The barley was bad for autoimmune and right. and, and the farro and the things that you think because, you know, you got all these nature d- diets right. now and you put nuts and grains <laughs> and stuff and you think the grains are healthy, but they may not be healthy for you. True. So you got to know what's good for your. Absolutely. St- and I think part of this journey is knowing your body. And I think, you know, having a cleanse allows you to s- stop for a minute, reset, but not just reset everything, but get in tune with what's good like if he's bloating something's wrong right so start to you know eliminate process of elimination figure out why and then you'll know that that's a source of and and to be honest karen you're exactly right that's the beauty of cleansing is kind of giving yourself that do-over a lot of times we think things are great for us and we think we feel good but sometimes we don't know what feeling good truly feels like so when you start all over and then you eat something and then you feel a certain way that get, that allows you to operate to pay attention to your body and make a change. Let me tell you, um, I was gassy for a while. I shouldn't tell y'all this, but <laughs> eliminating dairy completely, boom. Absolutely. So, you know, we talk about being lactose intolerant. Mm-hmm. We suffer through it, right? right. Like, oh, there you go. but you're, you're gassy and you're hurting people's feelings. <laughs> Stop. The, your body's telling you this is not good. If it smells like that, it's not good <laughs> coming out. So that knows shouldn't be in. Just letting people know. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Mary. Mary, she's in New Jersey. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I was just calling about this cleanse and uh, it was it's cleansing organs. I was wondering, like, what about people who say don't have gallbladders? Can, is it still safe to use this type of cleanse? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Why? Why is, why is it absolutely? Because the herbs are good for your body. It's just plant life. Okay. These, these these are not drugs. These are not fillers, binders, or anything like that. This is just plant life that's good for a particular organ. If you don't possess that organ, th- it's not going to put you in a, in a, a, you know, it's not going to hurt your body in any way. Okay. All right. All right. Good question, though, because a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of black women in particular don't have gallbladders because yeah. of the high-fat diets and other things. And we, we tend to, they, that's, they usually remove our organs. I always tell people, if God get, wanted you to start off with it, you probably should, you should hold on should to hold, it. Try to hold on to it. Definitely try to hold on to it. Unless it's literally it. killing you. Uh, let's let's go to, let me see, let me see. Esther, thank you for your call, Mary. Esther in Georgia. Hi. Hey. How are you guys doing? We're great. Great. Good, good. Now, I want to know if somebody has, I, actually, I have two things I want to talk about. The cleansing, I love the cleanse, but um, I, my neighbor, she is diabetic. Can she use it? Uh, is she one or two? Um, I think it's two, type two. Yeah, if she's type two, this is perfect for her. Right, cause because type two is... Type two, they've already figured out that, um, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, I'm eating too much fruits and, and, and it's going to be too much sugar. It's actually the opposite. It's absolutely not true. Actually, eating no. fruits and vegetables and things along that is going to actually help your body overcome from that particular thing opposed to impairing it. And and type right. 2 is the diet-related diabetes. There you go. Right. Okay. Okay. And the other thing I want to talk, um, to talk about is that um, I, um, I have um, decided to, to be a Democrat, but I... For the life of me, I cannot understand. Um, I could see the the fight 
that they're doing. But sometimes it, it seems to me that they're so scared. They're scared to do stuff. Okay. So here's how I look at the political landscape. You don't have to get involved in this. Thing, but I got this. <laughs> it's all strategy, right? And it depends on where you live in the world and whether or not uh, you're being a Democrat helps your 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 community or helps your particular uh, bottom line or the things that you want to get done. For me, I'm a registered Republican because in the state that I live in, which is New Jersey, it's a closed primary state. I want to be able to have an impact on elections that people aren't expecting me to come into. Plus, I get a free line straight to the uh, voting booth because usually in my neighborhood, being a Republican, there's no line. You just go to that table because yeah? <laughs> nobody else is. But, you know, I think we should vote strategically. Democrats in some towns, some states. They're just as horrible as Republicans. We just saw a complete and total cluster F in Iowa. I am not happy with the way the Democrats are, and I don't align with any one party. I align with power, and I align with us having a mission and going and moving together and doing so strategically with a plan. Don't just be a Democrat just because. Don't just register as a Republican just because I said I'm doing that. Figure out in your state. If you can gather enough people in your state to have a party of Lincoln, that's what the strategy is, a party of Lincoln strategy where we can run in a primary. Say, let's look at the Senate list, right? We were talking about the Senate list. Um, Let's say the primary in Georgia, which is Stacey Abrams state, is May 19th. David Perdue, I think he's running unopposed. Or if he has a person that's running against him, we could primary him, that's what that's called, with a party of Lincoln strategy. Those of us who are registered as Republicans show up for that primary and vote against David Perdue to make sure that he does not get back in the Senate. That's how we got to move. And it doesn't take a whole lot because most people don't show up for primary. So if it's a couple of thousand of us in Georgia showing up for a primary. He's got a few opponents. He's got a few. We pick one of them and make a deal with them. Say, hey, you want to win? All right, I got a couple thousand black folk right here that are registered as Republicans. And we want to get David Perdue out of the Senate. Do you want to win? Well, here's what we want. We're going to vote for you. But when we vote for you, here's what we want. Or we won't show up in the prime or in the general for you. Now, here's the joke. We probably won't show up in the, in the general for him anyway because we want a Democrat to win. All right. But they don't know that. This is our strategy. <laughs> we got to come on. Y'all got to be more crafty than this. I Get your it. demands. Or the person could give you say, oh, I'm going to do all of these things. I don't trust them anyway. So we bait and switch, but we got to be able to at least come together and have a strategy. So no, don't just be a Democrat, because let me tell you, uh, right now, to me, there's no difference. The parties have shifted and shifted and changed over the years, and, and we need to understand that. Like, this is all strategy for them. It has to be strategy for us. Right. And no one should just get our vote just because. That's the problem. All right. I, uh, I handle that. I think. I, all right. Welcome. All right, Esther. Let's uh, head over to Joanne in Ohio. Thanks for holding. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm calling. I got my answer for one about the type two diabetes. Okay, I got that answer from the pre- lady uh, uh, before. But also, I have kidney problems. Is a clean with the clean to help me with my kidney? Yeah. What's your kidney problems? I like I'm a stage three renal failure. Oh damn. Okay. But I've been that way. I've been that way for the last ten years. Okay. And I'm not on dialysis, and I don't. That's awesome. So I do everything Good. The doctor tells me. Definitely, definitely. Um, so should she ask her doctor? I think you should ask your doctor. She can definitely ask her doctor. Um, about 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 cleansing and doing things like that, but the cleanse is not rough on your kidneys. But definitely feel free to ask your doctor. Ask your doctor, and all of the particular ingredients are on our bottle. Right, every I was going to say, take your in, bottle with you. Every single ingredient in there is and, on yeah. the bottle, so definitely ask him. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Or her. Give me your website. I I didn't get the website again. I, I tuned in too late. No problem. The website is D H E R B S, and that's the letter D, the word herbs, all one word. dot com, and look for the full body oh, cleanse. Okay. And then okay. at checkout. All right. And at checkout, definitely use the code Hunter if your doctor says it's okay for you and you're ready to move forward, and that's going to give you a a great discount. A great one. All right. Then. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Is great, and and, and and be healthy, Joanne. Get better. Eight six six eight zero one eight two five five. Can is that reversible? 
Well, you, like you like like you just mentioned, you said it that your body is meant to heal itself. So we if we gonna believe it, then we gotta believe it all the way. All right, all right. I heard you. <laughs> I just said that. All right, I'll receive it. All right, let's go to Keith. Keith in Detroit. Thanks for holding. Hey, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Awesome. Good. Hey, so great show, Karen. I love you. I watch I listen to you every day. Thank you. So but my question is, all right, I'm a truck driver. I'm in this truck. 14 hours a day. Right. Now, if I do a cleanse, man, you know what? 500 miles, I got to get from where I'm at to the next spot. I, you know, looking for some of these public bathrooms. Uh, it might not be a good no, situation. He, he is me. talking something right now. No, he is. But you got to remember, what was the other guy that we just spoke to? Now, he was a truck driver. He was a truck driver. Andrew, and guess what? Big Daddy. There's, and he a lost lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of truck drivers that find a way. Now, sometimes on these trucks, and I'm asking you, you guys have a restroom on your truck. Do you have one on your truck? No, I don't. So, I, I'm, 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 I work 14 hours a day, so I do 500 miles. I'm actually at home every night, but I got to get these 500 miles out the way. So this is the beautiful, the beautiful. So is there a particular? Um, do you have like a weekend off or something like that? Yeah, I got Fridays and Saturday, well Saturday morning through Monday night. Okay, That's great. The so then so this is when you start. Day, you start on a Friday. It takes about 24 hours for it to get into your system. Time Monday run, time time you get to Monday, you will know exactly how your body is going to move <laughs> on this cleanse. So if you're going to the restroom three times a day, it's going to usually happen around that same time. So you'll be able to kind of figure out when you need to go to the restroom and, and kind of map it out because you went through it already. So that's what I would say. Start on your free day, like a Friday, and then come Monday, you know what that uh, Tuesday is going to look like. So would it be better to do maybe a three-day or a five-day? No, nah, you got to do it all the way 30? to get the, the full cleanse. What I'm saying is start your 20-day oh, okay. cleanse on a Friday, and then when when time you, the weekend ends for you, you'll know exactly how to prepare for that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday throughout right. the week. And every day, because everyone's always worried about going to the restroom, every but every day it's going to be less and less you know, uh, waste within your body, and it's that's going to definitely thin out to something normal. All right, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you very much. I'd love to get the praise report, and I I'm glad you said. You know, sometimes you're going to go two or three times a day. There are people that don't go, <laughs> and that that would make me really angry. People accuse me of being angry. I'm actually happy. I go to the bathroom twice a day, but if I didn't go, I would be. Angry. I don't know how people are walking around with wasting oh, them for a couple oh. of days. People go to the average American goes to the restroom three to five times a week. That would make me. If y'all think I'm nasty now. <sighs> wow. But think about it. Wait, swim on somebody. Seventy percent of the population is obese, and a lot of it has to do with that. We're consuming more than we're actually releasing, and not nutritious. So there you go. So there's so this cleanse will make people more regular and they'll get to see what their body's actual peristaltic motion is there supposed to be. So there you're putting you it in and then it's supposed and you release... to get this many hours it's supposed to go out. And, and if it's, it's not happen. going out, it's sitting toxically in your body. There you go. It's got to go out. Absolutely. Out. I do probiotics too. That helps tremendously. Probiotics are dope. Do you do probiotics, AD? I don't need to. No, oh, good for you. Right. <laughs> bragging in here. Don't be bragging on my. Sh I don't need to do probiotics. I'm, my stuff is good. All right. 866-801-8255. We have AD Dolphin in the building. Dherbs.com. Use code Hunter at checkout. Angela in Texas. Welcome. Hi. Hi. I have a, uh, hey. My question is. Well, uh, my daughter, she want to do, she want to detox. She's an athlete. She's 17, but she take a lot of medication due to her allergies, and she's allergic to peanuts. Is it safe for her to go ahead and start? So definitely. So you can't eat peanuts on the cleanse. But I'm, she's allergic to peanuts. I know, no, no, oh. no. You can eat them, but she shouldn't eat them. Let me, right. say, let me say it like that. Um, and a, a lot of times when you're taking a lot of medication, we would love for you to be medication free because we don't want you to have any complications. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's another great question that you could raise to your doctor. I like that. And uh, hey, okay. you know, this is the, that audience, by the way. We got 50, 11 million doctors listening. <laughs> I, prom and I promise you. And there's one on the line. South Carolina, Mark. Dr. Mark, you're on. Hey, how you doing, Karen? Good, brother. What's up? Uh, 
just wanted to, uh, I'm a nephrologist, which is a kidney doctor. I know one of your callers just called and asked about taking a cleanse for her kidney. So that's not going to reverse her kidney dysfunction. It sounds like she's diabetic, which is the number one cause of kidney dysfunction, particularly among African-Americans in the United States. I think what's most important for her is to make sure her diabetes is well controlled, um, whether that's taking her medications or watching her diet or exercising. But um, she should probably talk to her kidney doc. She probably has one if she's able to tell you that she has stage three, but probably wouldn't. I don't think the cleanse would probably be in her best interest. Okay. All right. And you know what? Cleansing is not for everyone. I think it's not, it doesn't have to be for everyone, but if it works for you, great. And again, for me, this journey, this life journey is about finding out what works for you, finding your thing that works for you, knowing your body, for sure. loving your body, but knowing what, and part of the love is to feed it good stuff, Drink your water and take care of business. And if you have been abusing yourself, detoxing, I think, to get rid of all of the years of abuse, Mm -hmm. alcohol, and et cetera, is a good thing. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Doc. Dr. Mark. I'm going to take one more call. One more call. Let me see. Is it? uh, Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. She wants to let the doctor on the line know that she no longer has diabetes. All right, Joanne says she no longer has diabetes, so mind your business. No, she didn't say that part. I'm adding <laughs> that in. All right, so thank you, Joanne. She just called back. All right, uh, Fred in Louisiana. Yes, this is uh, Craig, C-R-A-I-G. Oh, Craig. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Good evening, uh, afternoon. It is uh, 4.37, Central Standard Time here for, for me. Okay. And I've been listening into the show, and I want to just – thank all of you guys for all of the information that you share. It's uh, educate, expose, and eradicate is the way I kind of summarize everything that you guys are doing. Awesome. And I appreciate it. Really do. Uh, my wife and I are big advocates of uh, health and nutrition. We've uh, met a lot of homeopathic, naturopathic doctors, and uh, we had um, technology from Japan, which is uh, the water ionizers that they produce by the company name is in Agit. Ah, does not. Dap, doop, dap, doop, dap. And uh, Dr. Joel Wallach and Dr. Peter Glidden uh, with uh, Longevity products. We network right. with. So, all right, Fred, do you have a question? Because it sounds a lot like a uh, promotion of something else, which is fine, you know, but they're not on the show. AD <laughs> Dolphin is here. So go respect the man that's here. What what's your comment? Well, uh, the, the by the numbers, if we go by the numbers, the human body is uh, seventy to seventy five percent water, and uh, all water is not what you think it is. Especially in the store, you look at it in its natural state. Just look at it; and it's just water. But when you put the pH drops in it, to know uh, whether it's uh, acidic, most of it is, or either full of chemicals, and uh, that's the difference between all that bottled water and the other water that I just mentioned. But uh, by the numbers, 80% of the brain is water, 82% of the kidneys is water, 75% of the muscles is water, the human body is muscle, water, 13% of our bones is, is water, and here's the big right. number. What? Percent of our blood is water. Right. So no, if we consume more solids, as Dr. Sabi would put it, yes. uh, we should be consuming, you know, 70% liquid and, uh, uh, okay. you know, 30% solids. Fred, thank you. Um, so his message is more water. And yes, Dr. Sabi, rest in peace. Your thoughts on water, alkaline versus acidic versus what What, what do you do? I'm AD? all for alkaline water. Okay, you are. You yeah, do, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, on the cleanse, we want you to drink for or the first 10 days. We want, we'd rather you have distilled water because it has the pulling effects and it helps you cleanse your cells. And then we want you to do alkaline water for the last 10 days. We have a rejuvenating effect on your body. Okay. So I'm all for it. Very simple. You Look at you. I'm all for you, it. Look, you're, you're older than I think you are. But I think you look good. Thank you. Yeah, I I looked it up and I was like, A.D. Dolphin is doing some stuff. <laughs> and he's on five days of a 20-day cleanse. There you and I go. gotta get mine. We're gonna check out really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and the code is Hunter uh yes. at dherbs.com. I thank you for coming through. Absolutely. And I thank you for always being in touch and doing the things that you're doing out there, helping people get healed. For sure. We're on this healthy, wealthy, wise adventure ourselves. A D Dolphin, can are you active on the uh, Twitters at D Herbs? Not on Twitter, but definitely Instagram and Facebook. All right. A D Dolphin One. 
No, no. Okay, that is my Twitter. Okay, but <laughs> but ad dolphin on uh, Instagram and ad dolphin on uh, Facebook. And dolphin like the mammal that's in the water. That's there really cute. And go to dherbs dot com and use my code hunter at the checkout. Thanks for being here. I love it. Appreciate being here. you. Appreciate you. For sure. 